Hello people and welcome to another episode of Sandman's Tattle Time. Tonight we're going to talk about these fellas. You might know them as Gemini clips. I'm going to do two here. I'm going to do one with a bait clip and one without the bait clip. So what do you need to do the job? As normal, the good old round nose set of pliers and a set of universal pliers. And the old 316 grade. 1.6 mil stainless steel welding rods. Just before I make the Gemini clips, I've had quite a few people asking us a little bit more, they want to know a little bit more about this wire that I'm using. So there's a bit of a longer length, I can say that's just in a bundle of 100. Just so you know, this can be purchased from a company in Pallion, Sunderland called Lane Gate. It retails from about 45 to 55 pound for a five kilo tube. It comes in meter lengths, again, five kilos, um, and the diameter that you want is 1.6 mil. If you wanted to go on to make the bait loaders that I make, there's one there, you can make this out of the 1.6 mil, but I would recommend that you use upgrade to the three mil, as it's a little bit more rigid. But that's what you want, 1.6 mil, 316 grade, stainless steel, 5 kilo tube. I know it's a little bit expensive from £45 to £55, but you can use this for your grips, for your sinkers, Gemini clips, rotten bottom rigs, you name it, wherever I'm showing you, you can make, so you can justify spending that kind of money. You've got the mackerel season coming up soon, so if you want to make spinners, it's ideal to make the shaft that goes to the centre of that. I, I make a lot of my own lead, so I can use it for that. So I can justify spending 45 to £55 on a tube of that stuff. So there you go. If you want any more information on it, or you're not sure on where to purchase it from it, grab us on Facebook, give us a message, and I'll certainly help you out as much as I can, lads. Anyway, back to the Gemini clips. First of all, we'll do the one without the bait clip here. Bait clip on. There it is there. So you start off with a piece of stainless steel wire, 316 grade, 1.6 mil, and cut it to 7 centimetres long. There you go. Getting your round nose pliers, put the wire roughly halfway up the plier, like that. And all you're going to do here is what you've seen us do loads of times, is make a loop. <clears throat> so you bend it round, you get to that stage there, Get the universal pliers as you can see, straighten it up. Again, practice makes perfect. I know you'll not be able to do this first go, but if you just persevere with it, I didn't get a first go, but I worked out and I got it. So you get to that stage there. While you've still got your universal pliers in your hand, hold it so it's flat on with you like that. Get your pliers and pull it so it's nice and straight. I'll put that up to the camera. Can you see the shaft goes halfway through the tip of the plier, like that. And all you're gonna do is make a little kink, like that. So you end up with that. If I put that on the end of the, of the pair of pliers, you'll be able to see better. There it is there. That's where you should be. When you're at that stage, get your wrong nose pliers again. And put them there. You want to or just over half way up the shaft of the Gemini clip. So you're there. Hold it in your thumb and your finger and using your thumb, just bend it round the plier like that. And you'll end up with that. And as you can see, you're nearly finished. Use your universal pliers and get a hold of it in the jaws like that. Keep it under tension, nip it together. Use your finger and your thumb and just hold them together like that and just give it a little nip. That's all it needs. And there you go. Simple as that. One Gemini clip without the bait clip. So we'll put that to one side. And this time we'll make the one with the, the bait clip. So again, there's your length of stainless steel, seven centimeters long. Halfway up your pliers, exactly the same way as what we've just done, and make your loop as you've just seen us do. There it is there. 
Make sure it's nice and straight. As you look, again, go to the other end, as you saw us do, give it nice and flat, and put it in like that. As you can see, it's just halfway through the ply. So when you get to that stage, this time what you want to do is bend it right round. So what you end up with that, it's like a little hook. I'll get the plies just so you can see that a little bit better. So what's there? Getting your round nose plies, again, as you've probably guessed it, you're 75% of the way done. Just put them in to there, like that. And again, with your thumb and your finger, bend it over, like that. And you're there. Once you've done that, universal plies, thumb and finger, 